Hello, have a good day. This is going to be a very, very short one. <coughs> Hello, everybody, please. I will appreciate if we can share this program. There's a quick one. I'm trying to reconnect. What happened? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. This is not it. Okay, I can see that we are all together now. Yes. Please, if you can share this program, it's very important. It's about depression. It's about depression and how you can handle it. Please, let's share this together. You might be saving somebody. You might be saving a loved one. Uh, and then I just want to give hope. Just a little word of encouragement for those going through it. If you can hear me, please let me know. Good evening, good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Um, you can see that I've been busy lately. I've not been coming out um, as usual. Uh, I've got a lot of things going on with, within myself too. <laughs> Everybody gets the whole wahala, you know. So I've got projects that I'm doing and that's why I'm really busy. Now, let's talk about depression. Uh, I got a sad news today. I got a sad news today from a friend's sister, you know, who told me she lost her sister to depression. And this really baffled me. Even though I've got no time, I still feel I need to create this time to speak to some of us that we are going through one thing or the other. Just a word of encouragement to us all. We can see Hada, Hada Ame, the Nollywood actress, who died some days ago. Um, people might say, well, she didn't kill herself or whatever. But she has been going through emotional, um, emotional stress. And this is really, really has been giving us, you know, trouble. She lost her only child. She lost six siblings. She lost her father within a short period of time. That kind of a person, how do you think she can, she can cope? You know, life was meaningless to Ada, according to what we heard. Life was meaningless to her. She tried as much as possible to hold on to the faith. She tried so much, even though people around her were giving her all the hopes, she couldn't bear it. And this could lead to her eating excessively, drinking, or whatever. It could lead to anything. Do you understand? I got this um, call from a, a friend's, uh, um, my, my, my friend's sister, who said she lost her only sister to depression. There are only two in their family. What happened? Uh, I want us to know, as ladies or any man, that you're going through anything in life, know that it is not peculiar to only you. Depression starts with sadness. It starts with sadness. Nothing is good to you. You will cry all day, all night. Nothing is meaningful to you in life. I want to tell you that there is life. Ah, let me share the story of that friend of mine. She has been looking for the fruit of the womb for years. 52 years old. She's been looking for fruit of the womb. The sister said she has tried um, IVF twice, which failed. And then the husband is not making her happy and everything was just upside down for her the man tried move her abroad everything they went abroad to have two ivf but she never had a baby this depressed her so much that she lost hope in everything please as you come in give us stars please help my condition Give me stars. You see that I cannot even come out as often because of my business schedule. But I just want us to share this within ourselves. You know, 
So this young lady, 52 years old, thought she has lost everything in life. They said everything became meaningless to her. Sister said so many times they've spoken with her, but it was just part of that life was just meaningless to her. Are you going through such? They said she just lumped two days ago. She just lumped and that was it. But they've noticed that she has neglected herself so much that she wasn't engaging in anything. I know a lot of them that you try as much as possible to bring them out of their shield. It's not their fault. It's because of what they are going through. Depression is real. I want to encourage you. If you're going through any episode of sadness, please seek for help. And do not think because at 50 years you are not married, you think that's the end of life. No. Some people are in their husband's home. They are married. They are not happy. They are worse than you that you're out there looking for husband. Are you out there because you don't have children? You think life is all about children? Some are having children that are not making them happy. It's those that say, say it that you will know. Everybody has got one problem or the other. Do not, do not condemn yourself. Condemnation of self itself, it's, 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 it's killing. Some of you that you are going through this, you will say, ha, ah, at 50, then how do I start again? Where do I go? Who is going to marry you? Who are you when God has said, when God has not said it's over? Who can tell you that it is over? It is not over. God has plans for everybody. Do not forget that living on heart, even if you don't have children, it's children that will bury you when you die. I don't know how many people you have seen on the streets of London or Lagos or anywhere that they say they died on the street because they don't have children. No. You can say her. She can say that she has children. Do you know what I'm going through myself? Or she's happily married. Do you know how my marriage is? Don't, do not compare yourself to anybody. And do not condemn yourself. Do not condemn yourself. Seek for help. And for those of us around them, what, do we, what are we doing to support them? Let's encourage them when they are crying because they will cry. Allow them to cry and speak with them. Hold them. Let them feel that love. The love they feel they have lost. Let them feel that love. Depression is real. I wept when I heard that that lady is dead because of the fact that she has no children at 52. Life was meaningless to her. You can still do it. And I don't know. And they said, they told her to go and adopt. She said she doesn't want any, she doesn't want adoption. How, when has it become a sin to adopt a child? When has it become a sin to adopt a child that will make you happy? If that is what will make you happy, it's children you are looking for. Adopt a child, do it the legal way, and you move on. May God see us true. Ada is gone now. She was crying for help. We could not hear. We saw the other time she did a video and said, I'm dying. I have mental health. Mental health, I do say, is like physical health. If you're feeling down, please seek for help. If there are therapy that you can do, to make yourself to feel better please go ahead and do it i'm taking my work this evening i pray that the lord almighty will wipe away the tears of the families of the diseased it's painful but let's try as families as relatives as friends as neighbors let's see that we look after those suffering from mental health it's very important you that you're going through it and you can't speak with anybody take a walk meditate think about life beyond what it is like i said not having children doesn't make you lesser in the society 
Not being married doesn't make you lesser in the society. Losing your job doesn't make you lesser in the society. And that's not the end of the world for you. Losing business that's worth millions doesn't mean that's the end for you. You don't know where help will come from. You don't know where help will come from. May the good Lord let the lock locate us. Huh? In the mighty name of Jesus. I told you it's going to be a short one because I'm very, very busy. If I can still come later, the place where you come with this video, help me to share. You don't know who you can be helping. You don't know who you can be saving. People are out there crying, thinking life is all about having being married, having children, or being lonely, or whatever. No. Use your time wisely. Take a walk. Go for swimming. Look for activities that will, you know, that will revitalize you. And that's the only way you can, you know, overcome it. And seek for mental health uh, help. Because we all need it. May the good Lord see us too. Please, let's keep living healthy. I'm taking my walk this evening. And I say, let me just do a short one. Because it's a busy one for me. Thank you very much. I love you all. Share the good news of live happily. Do not believe that life is all about having this or having that. When you are going through an episode, there is life after all this. Okay? May God see you. I'll see you when I see you. Bye. Love you all.